Hello and welcome once again to the Rugged Rock Hound. Today I've got some new things with my <laughs> with my GoPro. I've got a microphone that's supposed to be able to help protect against wind, which is good because it's actually breezy right now. So we're gonna find out whether it's gonna help with the wind or not. Anyway, I'm here just with my brother hiking up another canyon. This is called Side Canyon and Hartley Canyon's over that way. So I thought, let's do a canyon close to Hartley and just see if it also has some Jasper agates in the limestone. Don't know, might find some good stuff, might find nothing, who knows? Okay, let's head on up. Oh, and if we do find something, here's the GPS. Okay, let's start hiking. So, we haven't been walking up the road very far so far. Um, I was just seeing limestone with a little bit of alteration, but now I'm getting to a spot where I'm seeing some brown jasper. That's a big chunk of the brown jasper too. So we're hitting the jasper once again. So far I'm only seeing brown, but that's a good start. Probably coming off the hillside somewhere. That brown jasper is becoming more and more abundant. That's not a, not too bad of a piece right there. Yeah, it's coming off this hillside somewhere. I'm not really seeing red though. I'd like to see some red. That's a lot of brown though. So just under this tree up here, we got a big chunk of not exactly Jasper. Um, it's it's like becoming Jasper. It's, it's in the process of making Jasper, but it's not as high quality. I guess you could call it low quality. So I'll run into this tree. So the best zone we found was back over in those trees. But for now, we're going to hike. I want to kind of just hike the stretch of it. And then on the way back, we'll hit that zone and see what was in it. Yeah, for now, we're just going to hike up. We want to find all the different zones, and then on the way back, we'll just hit all the different zones. So we've been hiking for quite a distance. And just like we saw over in Hartley Canyon, once we got past that Jasper area, we didn't really see much. And we've been walking a while, so mostly limestone, a little bit of sandstone. But I've come further up here than I did Hartley Canyon, and the limestone has changed to a lighter color here. And you should be able to see it there, corals. You can see a bunch of corals in this rock. So this lighter colored limestone, which I am familiar from the past when I've been out here in this part of Idaho, you definitely get more fossils in this type of limestone. So here we are, coral fossils. Yeah, worn coral fossils, anyone? <laughs> Look at those. Those are nice. That's a good specimen right there, huh? And they really are all over the place here. Basically look at any rock and you'll see corals in it. Corals. This one's nice where you can see the cross section of those different corals. Yeah, it had pretty good preservation. You can really see the chambers in them. Cool. Oh, right here. You've got a coral that on the inside got replaced with crystals. I'm trying to see if those are quartz or calcite. Let's get that over here. Actually, I think those are quartz crystals. That's that's cool. I, I, I haven't really seen much quartz this far up. Mostly it's been calcite. So that's pretty cool. That one looks pretty decent. Oh yeah. Nice exposure on that one. Nice. So you're getting two different kinds here. One, you got this more tan rock that's a lot harder, and then the uh, fossils on the inside are softer and they're weathering out, leaving these depressions. And then you've got this lighter limestone here where the fossils inside are harder and they're the ones creating the outer edges, like right here. And that's because I think a lot of these ones, it's kind of more of a quartz that filled in. Very interesting. I think I see a nice one here. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah, you can really see how it filled in with quartz, kind of a chalcedony. And some quartz crystals. That's a pretty decent one. Looks like we got a nice whole one right here. Well, more or less. Okay, this is the one that came out of the hard stuff. This is 
all calcite. It feels really light and it feels like it's about to just crumble in my hands. <laughs> this one was kind of cool where it had that sticking out and of course a few others around it sticking out a little bit. That just looked cool. That one sure has a lot in it. All over. Just found this one that looks really nice. <laughs> it's got a nice coral just sticking off of it right there. Some other good ones going through it. Yeah, that one's pretty sweet. So I didn't find very many more that were any better than what I found so far. So instead I just tried to grab a few that I thought thought might look good if I cut into them. Just to, to kind of see. This is a little big, but I still think this would look really good cut, so we'll see. Anyway, yeah, grabbed a few cutters, and we'll see if they're any good. Here's this one cut open. Oh, cool. You can see the chambers in it. That one's not too bad. Nice. Here's this one cut open. Okay. Yeah, we can see a decent amount of it. Not too bad. Here's this one cut open. It had a fracture going through it. And, oh yeah, there are several in there you can see. Oh, that's pretty nice. Here's this one cut open. That piece broke off. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, that one looks really good. Ah, that's a, <laughs> that's some good coral. I'm very pleased with this one. Here's this one cut open. Oh, they didn't quite go in as far as I thought they would. Still, that's pretty decent. So the coral zone mostly goes around this side of the hill and then kind of stops there. Comes and stops about here and it goes up maybe that far in the hill. So it is kind of a small zone. Anyway, that's good enough from here. I'm gonna go ahead and head down back to where the jasper and agate is. Let's see what we can find down there. So we're back at the spot with the brown jasper. So it kind of started down there and then came up to about here where we saw a lot of the brown coming out. And managed to find this piece that had some red on it. So there is some red jasper here as well. My thoughts then, because I didn't see any further up, that just like Hartley Canyon, which is a couple miles that way, there must be this line that comes across the, the base of the hills here that has the jasper and the agate, and it probably just goes along the front of these mountains. So I might have to, at some point in time, try along the fronts. But for right now, let's go ahead and see what kind of jasper we can find up on the hillside. Okay, so the road is actually down there. I started going up the hillside, but because it's so covered in trees, you couldn't really see anything, and I thought, well, I need to get back to the south facing slope. So if my theory holds true and it runs north-south, then if I come over on this side of the road, so up on the north side, so we're actually just parked down there, then it should be in this area and there's some right there, some brown jasper. Still haven't seen anything as good as what I was seeing down there, but we'll see if we can't locate a zone somewhere here, maybe up on that hill or there. We'll take a look around. So I've hiked around a bit Seems like there's more of it on this hill than this one over here. And just show you, there's the road, and that's where I was finding the jasper there. So, anyway, um, there's not a lot of it, it's not great quality. The stuff we found at Hatley Canyon was definitely much better. This definitely warrants further searching, but where my health is right now, <laughs> I'm still, yeah, in a situation where I've got to really take care of my health. So at this point, I think that's about as much hiking as I can really do for today. So if I find anything on the way back down, great. Otherwise, um, yeah, I'll see you back at the vehicle. Oh, good. Found something on the way down. So I saw this piece. It's got a little pocket right there, a little bit of agate lining it. Kind of a brown jasper, but agate mix. And I see some more stuff right there. And some stuff right here. Hmm. Hey, that's almost getting to more of a an opal look. Oh, that's cool. Okay. 
Let's take a closer look at this one. Interesting. It's different than the stuff over at the other canyon. And we are back at the vehicle. So, um, there's definitely some nice bear hill here that I'd like to explore. And I saw some bear spots up on this hill too that I really think are worth checking out. I just kind of hit my limit for today. Yep, they're still trying to figure out what's wrong. And once we get that figured out, hopefully get everything taken care of and I can get back to full blown, good health, rock counting and everything. Anyway, interesting area. I definitely want to check it out more, but so far, uh, not great. So we'll see. Until next time, remember, there is treasure everywhere.